Muy buenas noches a todos mis amigos, a los que siempre están aquí en Hablando Entre Mujeres, septiembre 10 del 2019 y ya se nos viene un año increíble por terminar. Pero eso no nos va a quitar de estar aquí juntos nosotros hoy para dar muchas eh, novedades, entrevista, por supuesto, información que tú vas a estar sobre, sobre, sobre de esto que se está llevando y en lo cual tú eres parte de Hablando Entre Mujeres y por supuesto, como siempre te pedimos que si te gusta tu programa, lo compartas, le des un like y por supuesto, le dejes saber a muchas otras personas de que tú eres parte de aquí, de mi corazón, de este programa y de todo lo que hacemos siempre. Todos los martes a las 7 de la noche siempre estaremos aquí con Dos en Línea TV, por supuesto, con Universus Radio desde México, con el gran eh, periodista Hugo Hernández y Columbus al Día con Juan Alberto García, eh, Wilder y por supuesto desde Miami, Ohio, Perú y Colombia. Y no podíamos decir más que estar felices, felices, porque hay tantas buenas noticias que no sé cómo empezar, no sé cómo decirles, pero hoy vamos a estar haciendo el programa entre inglés y español. Um, I have my beautiful friend, my invited person, whose name is Mandana. Um, and she's here. She's here today, and I have published news about her coming up. Uh, there's tons of things to say about her. Um, I will introduce you to who she is. And also, remember, we're translating this program between the English and the Spanish because we have both communities. And you wouldn't be happy if only I said things in Spanish when we have people that in English is watching us, is always following us, and perhaps is loving what we do. So I have to say that I have great news. The news are that Canto por la Paz is coming up in the Latin Awards Canada 2019. It's been nominated um, as an interpreter, myself, Rosemary Sanchez, and I'm just so blessed, so thrilled, so thankful as best song for the year in the Christian music. So what can I say about that? Wow, that's amazing. I have Adrian Bilchi, saludos, says, thank you for that. And we have a, quite a, the song there? Is the song there? Okay, Guillermo, thank you. I want you to listen to the song because it's a beautiful song. It's Canto por la Paz, a song for peace. Um, tenemos que ser realistas. El canto por la paz es necesario. Hoy en día en nuestro país, en todo el mundo, y necesario para que esas almas que están son, que son tan oprimidas, como los niños que están en guerra, como esas personas que no tienen la misma oportunidad que tenemos nosotros, y que tienen hoy en día. Por eso hacemos este Canto por la Paz. Canto por la Paz fue creada desde Brasil con el cantautor José Lucas, quien es un, canta, un cantante de larga trayectoria por 30 años. Él hizo la canción La Loca, una canción muy famosa ella. Y eh, también la producción de esta canción es con Glenn Vargas. Pero cabe de notar que esta canción no solamente la he interpretado yo, Estamos más de 15 cantantes alrededor del mundo cantando Canto por la Paz. Vamos a dejarlo un ratito para que tengas un poquito de ese sabor de esta canción, la escuches y te llenes de ella. Y mientras voy a dar otra información que es importante. Yo cantaré más alto me gusta mucho esa canción y doy gracias a Dios por que me ha dado la oportunidad de ser parte de este gran Tengo que denotar a los cantantes que están siendo parte de esta canción porque esto no es nada más mío. Esto es de muchas personas que realmente se merecen ser reconocidas. Aquí en Canadá con los Latin Awards Canada 2019 estoy siendo nominada. Es un gran y maravilloso regalo de Dios. Pero debemos detonar también quién ha sido las otras personas que también han hecho esta gran canción. Y necesito decirlo. So, tenemos a Joao del Valle y Capiao que han hecho esta canción interpretada en Brasil. También tenemos, por supuesto, José Lucas y Rachel, que es el dúo principal de la canción. Eh, tenemos al cantautor Le Calix, desde Colombia. Tenemos Canto por la Paz de las hermanas de Jen y Jesús Díaz 
en México. Canto por la Paz con Miguel Ángel, eh, quien es mi ángel musical en un dúo. Ellos son amigos míos, son parte de mi vida. Gracias, él me dio su estudio para grabar esta canción. Y no puedo dar más que gracias. Gracias, Juan Carlos, eh, por, por tu apoyo. Eh, y ellos son mi ángel musical. Lo pueden encontrar en YouTube, mi ángel musical. Tenemos también Canto por la Capas con Tito Camacho y su grupo Sensación. Tenemos Marcela Beltrán y Génesis Beltrán. Tenemos Jane McNeil, who interpreted this song in English. Song for Peace. Canto por la Paz is being interpreted by uh, James McNeil as a singer. And I'm just so thrilled, I'm so thankful that he was part of this vision. He was part of the song and he took the calling when I mentioned come and do Canto por la Paz. So I'm so thrilled. Thank you. He's my amigo, mi amigo, James. Thank you, James. Uh, we have Los Tinos, Canto por la Paz. And what can I say? There's, there's other people coming from Italy also. So it's in Italian and um, it's uh, Lilo de Palermo. También tenemos Edes de Bolivia a Roxana Quesua y Rosario Vega, que también lo hace desde Bolivia. Con ella hice el dúo, con Rosario eh, Vega, con, eh, también con eh, Los Tinos. Entonces, eh, ¿qué te puedo decir? Eso, eso es lo maravilloso del mundo. Estamos unidos, no estamos solos. Es importante denotar eso siempre. So, are we in commercials? <laughs> are we in commercials? No? Okay. Okay, I thought for some moment that we were in commercials, but um, here you are. So um, I'm going to talk about who's um, Mandana, okay? Because this is really important. I think um, I've been waiting for this time. Yes, Mandana, I've been waiting for you here. You're coming next. So let me say who's Mandana and um, uh, let you know who she is, okay? So Mandana... Uh, she is born in April 2019. Her last name is Atta Sardeh. She's from Iran. Sorry about the mistake if I did not pronounce properly your last name, Andana. But I'm sure that people will know who you are because you're very popular in the community, isn't it? <laughs> Good. So, Mandana, uh, she's the founder of the Flourishing Woman Circle. And she's an author, a speaker, an empowerment coach. Um, She works as a leader for social justice. Wow, that's, that's big. You know how many times people are not attended and when they have the most difficulty in their life, there's no a voice there. And even if they there is a voice, still they're grinding. They have such a bad experience and they are capable to do many things, but they don't have that vehicle. Mandana is the vehicle. That's why she's here. She'll talk about it. And I'm so blessed. I'm so thrilled. I'm so thankful. She took the advantage and, and this opportunity being here because you will be empowered. So uh, she's been Toronto 10th inspirational woman and queens rising together. Wow. In 2019. So you see, this movement happens in 2019. I think this year for many people, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a year of blessings, unleashing the power of you. And I can see that on myself. And I'm sure that because you've been in this program for months already, and I've, I've come up with so many great people here sitting down with me, I'm sure that you have empowered your life. So keep being here. Please share the uh, program. Let know your friends. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m., like I said, I'm here with somebody invited that will always empower your life. So uh, she immigrated in Canada. She left Iran. She came when it was June 2006. Um, she was doing a medical career. We're going to ask her about that. Um, it is important to note our um, to always get to know the person in real. What took her to be in the medical field and be out of it? I think that's very significant. And that's why you should be here. You should stay and don't leave, please. So um, she's always been in the help, uh, I mean, helping communities, helping communities. She work, empowering women, making sure these women are heard. She comes with ideas, activities, 
and uh, where she work at and she'll be able to tell you all about it and also because she's doing this wonderful book flourishing uh, you know your woman your need you inside um, she'll be able to tell you details why she has chosen that book just she's writing why her the name of the book and so on so I want to bring her nets um, I want to uh, read comments here because it's important to always give you that uh, happiness yes I'm reading so tengo a Claudia Francis gracias Claudia por siempre ser parte de Hablando Entre Mujeres Claudia creo que es la fan número uno de Hablando Entre Mujeres y de todos los programas de Dos en Línea ella nunca está fuera de ellos gracias por tu soporte sigue con nosotros por favor eh, tenemos a Rita Mendoza muchas felicidades Tienes una hermosa voz. Bendiciones. Gracias, Rita. Es un placer. Gracias por compartir eh, ese video de Canto por la Paz. Yo vi que lo hiciste desde mi página. Significa mucho para mí. Y pronto tú vas a estar aquí, aquí y aquí en este programa porque tú tienes algo maravilloso que darle al mundo también. Rita es escritora y ella también es locutora, periodista y muchas otras cosas más. So, gracias, Rita. So I want to uh, let you know that now we have to go on to commercials. So let's wait. Let's be awaiting for Mandana because here she's coming. Just await. Don't leave. See you soon. La comunidad cristiana Idelán Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esta hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. ¿Te gustaría conocer las cataratas del Niágara? ¿Qué ha habido? Mi nombre es Pepe García, co-director de Vago por Toronto. Y nosotros ofrecemos el tour a las cataratas del Niágara y a la región vinícola de Neonda Lake desde la ciudad de Toronto. Si quieres más información de todos nuestros servicios, contáctanos a través de nuestras redes sociales. Estamos en Instagram, estamos en Facebook. Ahí te vamos a atender y te vamos a brindar toda la información que necesitas. Chao, chao. Obleas and Waffles to Go continúa en grandes eventos en Toronto, Canadá. El próximo 7 de septiembre estaremos en un atardecer llanero en el gran opening de International Sport Band junto a Isabel Cuellar. Esto será desde las 12 del mediodía hasta las 7 de la noche. Y el 22 de septiembre en el Latin Fall Fiesta and Parade, en donde los colombianos y canadienses seguirán disfrutando de nuestros sabores de Colombia. Thank you, my friends, my dear friends. Here we have Mandana. <laughs> How are you doing, Mandana? I am doing wonderful. Wow. <laughs> are you happy being here? I'm so happy. And I can see you in your face. I, I really am happy. <laughs> I'm very happy for that. <laughs> you know what? Um, one of the things we enjoy the most is when happiness is shown. It's something that's natural. It's something that really empowers others. And you said something really important. You said, um, I love the energy you have in camera. And I said, thank you. <laughs> it's all about energy. Energy, yeah. right? But let me ask you, because you know me some, and uh, you have seen me quite often in different meetings and conferences that we've been doing, right? Mm -hmm. Is this something you see always in me or is it something that I always do here on me? 
I think you you exude that energy everywhere. When when yeah. you are at the diff, at a level of energy, when a person is at a level of energy, you exude that. You know, sometimes we are tired, sometimes we are yes. a little bit down. That happens. We are all human, and that happens. But generally speaking, you exude a wonderful energy, full of energy. You just feel it from you all the time. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> and I think that's why your book, Flourishing Women. It's really meant to be because this is what you see in you mm -hmm. and then what you see in others. Yes. So yes. tell me something. What got you into do this book? It's a long story. You know, I was initially, I was born and raised in Iran. And I was initially uh, trained as a medical doctor. Uh -huh. After three years of medical practice, I realized, oh, I don't want to do clinical work. That's not something I'm really passionate or enjoy doing. But it was such a hard decision to not to do it because everyone was looking up at me. I looked like looked like this well put together doctor that everyone kind of craved to be the same thing. But I was I had this void, that empty space inside me. Wow. And then I decided, okay, I have to really pursue something that makes me happy and fulfilled. And my journey started there. Wow. I decided to quit medical career. I went cold wow. turkey and I quit. Wow. I won't do that anymore. <laughs> so you were truthful <laughs> to yourself. Yes. Yes. And there is someone that says it's not about what I'm aiming for. Yes. You know, yes. but it's what really is in me. That's and my mean. passion. Yes. Yes. Wow. And I have to say this in Spanish because I think this is really important. So let sure. me just translate sure. it. Mandana dice que ella en Irán, porque ella es de Irán, estuvo haciendo su carrera de médico y con su carrera de médico ella encontró que no era algo que la estaba llenando por completo. Y para ella era difícil decir, ok, lo voy a quitar, me voy, no me voy, qué iba a decir la sociedad, qué realmente iba a decir su familia, inclusive ella estaba en una disyuntiva, pero ella entendió que esa no era su pasión. Que a pesar de que ella podría hacer algo que podría hacer siempre, no iba a ser algo en lo que ella se iba a destacar. Y por eso tiene un libro que está creando que se llama The Flourishing Woman, uh, que es esa mujer que se nutre, que se llena, que se empodera. Y es porque ella misma lo ha vivido. So, es importante que lo denotemos aquí porque estamos hablando en la conversación y quiero que ustedes entiendan por qué Mandana vino a hablar con mujeres como tú que estás escuchando hoy en día y que quieres, eh, por supuesto, tener estas conversaciones que no los tienes todos los días con tus amigos. Porque aquí está una persona con su experiencia real, trayendo algo que tú vas a utilizar para un futuro. So I'm saying that um, mm -hmm. it's important to bring women like you mm -hmm. with that um, empowerment, um, with that um, designed path that you have gone through. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, because the, uh, the, the program is called Talking Between Women. Uh, women that are here are listening, they're mm -hmm. empowering themselves and whatever they take, even if it's a word today, that will make sense for them in the near future. Yes. And thank you for that, Mandana. I think uh, one of the things that we as a human being have to value is that the human side, it's on top, always. Always of always. the work always. that we do, yes, isn't it? And that's why I think you dedicated your life now that you came in Canada. Tell us a little bit more so they can yes. know what it is, yes. what you have done at choosing to quit your career as a medical practitioner, doctor, doctor yes. and now you came to Canada and you decided what to do. Exactly. So when I quit, I didn't know, I had no idea what I'm going to do. But I just knew that I don't want to be a doctor. So I started a journey. It took me a few years. I went through so many, trying so many different things and doing different kind of career jobs. Eventually, it brought me to social justice because what I was passionate about and what one of the reasons I did not want to be a doctor that because I thought as a doctor, I was tackling things that are on the surface. I knew the illness is coming from somewhere very deeper than what I'm seeing in my medical practice. The inside. The inside and from the society, from the For poverty, sure. lack of access to income, education, equal opportunities. That oh. makes people physically and mentally ill. And then they come to a doctor and you just want to give them some prescription 
to make them feel a little bit better, less pain, but you are not tackling the root cause. And I always like to tackle the root cause. So it brought me back to social justice. I've been working in community development after I came to Toronto. Yes, yes. I just pursued this, uh, this kind of way and I got to social justice. I work in community wow. development. I've been working in a um, kind of low income neighborhood the past eight years wow. to help leaders there to improve their community and their life condition. That has been part of my journey. Very, very rewarding. My community development work has been uh, featured in Toronto Star and se several. Yes, yes, I was going to mention that, but you did it very well. Very well. <laughs> Thank you. And how not to appraise or, you know, mention the work you do. This is social, social justice. It is. You know, it's, it's, it's about communities that are left off. I know. That sometimes they're seeking that person i know and they're lacking person. nothing they are as perfect and beautiful as everyone else it's just about the opportunity and the way society is structured yeah, yeah. like i'm sure that you work with human uh sorry with uh, women that are uh, physically abused mentally abused monetary abused mm -hmm. um even with women that are getting out of the door and they don't know what to do they're just yes. pregnant they got the baby yes you know so circumstances that are unforeseen for a human being sometimes because the lack of knowledge yes the lack of opportunity of education yes. the lack of um being out there exactly. with the good network exactly. and uh really knowing what's best that's very true that's what it wow. is wow and i i have a question for you because um, when you uh, mentioned here that a woman shall flourish, this is this is in detail of the work that you do every day. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, I want to ask you, what does that mean to you, and why that title in your book specifically to you, other than yeah. what you lived? But right now mm -hmm. you said this is the cover book and the yes. name I have to choose. And it actually took a while for the, for me to get to this title and I tell you the story. Okay. So after I was in my social justice for a few years, I was very happy, but that wasn't the end of the story. There was more to do, right? So yes. then I had this passion of serving women and empowering women for a long time. I came from Iran. I come yes. that there is a lot of limitation wow. and right problem for women there. So I already had this passion and then i started okay i want to do something for women and i was thinking and talking about it for a long time and eventually in 2017 in a very interesting story that i will tell you another time <laughs> okay, sure. i got to the action and i started my women's coaching so i started to host workshop for women yes to start coaching um, in 2017 and in 2018 i actually established my group called the flourishing women's circle and the Flourishing Women's Circle has three purposes. Number one, to help women to live the life of their dream. Because that's exactly what I did. I had a dream. I had a dream to be in social justice to help women. And I actualized it through my life journey. And I'm yes. still working. It's never ending. But there is a difference when you are on the path and you are not on the path. Yes. When you are on the path, path is still ongoing. You keep going. There's a and never there's, end. There's so many challenges. So and many challenges. If you don't have the mentorship that someone that's telling you, you know what? Stop. You are good. Exactly. You know, redirect your focus. Mm -hmm. You're making sure that that person is attended with a circumstance that they don't even see it themselves. Yes. Right? That's yes. why a coaching mentoring is about. So important. And you know, I did my career change without coaching because at that time I didn't know. And that was the biggest mistake of my life. I will never do it again. I will never do it alone. Wow. That took me a few years. If I had a coach mentor, I probably did it six months or a year. I, I agree with you completely because we are in the same path. Yes. Okay. And uh, you're developing your career in that you have your coaching system already. Yes. yes. I, I, I'm having mine built. Yes. And we have to talk about very interesting we thing. We will. I tell you something. Do you know that there's a conference coming? called Cell Jefe. Did you know about it? The one in November? Yes. I vaguely know, but not <laughs> fully. <laughs> That's why you're here. We shall tell our public, our media, uh -huh. our audience, everybody who's uh -huh. involved. So let me tell you, Cell Jefe is a conference that is uh, bringing Hector Rodriguez Curbelo from Switzerland, wow. where he resides, but he's initially from Uruguay, uh -huh. okay? He's a Latin person, very well known in the community as a number one globally coaching system online. 
Wow. Yes. Yes. He has 190,000 subscribers. Wow. Yes. And he has a new university and an elite group also. Mm -hmm. So what he does is mentoring, is coaching, is with one idea that you have, develop it in the digital world for corporate reasons, for corporate um, affiliations. And um, he's a motivational speaker also. So it's, it's about development as a professional person. Um, as a growth career and also the digital world, which today, if we're not facing this radically, we're losing money. Yes. And uh, I should tell that it's a hundred percent in Spanish. However, we're going to have a section where there's going to be a translator in English. So people who are in the Anglos mm -hmm. home, uh, you know, news, which is you and many other, oh. but want to be in power, <laughs> you know, <laughs> with a community like Latin community that's emerging, that's yes. really showing, you know, we're here to success as well. Uh, you know, you are able to do networking. I think, I think the idea is amazingly good. It's what do awesome. you think? It's awesome idea. It's a two days conference. Mm -hmm. uh, it's November nine and 10. And it will also be on November 8th, but that will be the registration time. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a little party for people. So they awesome. network. The only, my only little thing, I haven't retreated at that day, but. No way! Oh. <laughs> but tell us about your retreat. <laughs> Maybe I, you can change my retreat, but oh let's my see. God. We'll work on it. <laughs> for sure. That's something we have to mention because yes. this is one of the things that mentor they do. Uh -huh. Retreats. We yes. have to get the people out of the stress of life. Get them That's in the saddle it. time and now flush them in into something yeah. big. And you know, exactly. Something I wanted to tell you about the retreats because we, we go to a lot of workshops, seminars, conferences, and we learn a lot and we do network and connect and expand, get inspired, empowered. But the deep transformation happens when you block that day-to-day -day life, that stress that comes, you get out of your irregular, usual space. So get, the comfort zone. The calm, get out of that and get to a new space with like-minded people. Go into deep learning yes. for for expanded longitude of time rather than just half a day or what do you? At least one night, two night, a week. Yeah, you nourish your mind, you know. Your mind, your body, and then transformation and spark start. And let me tell you my story. My I went to Raymond Aaron retreat in yes. 2016. Yes, amazing. I know, amazing <laughs> retreat. That I was just out of my divorce. I was kind of depressed. Wow. Was in a lot of debt, and I had this dream to start something for women, but haven't done anything yet. So when I went to that retreat, after a week, when I came out, my vibration as a woman totally changed. My energy, wow. my depression gone away, and I started dating right away. I was wow! Separated for seven years. <laughs> wow, Divorced for a year, we didn't do nothing. No never, way. Never dated in my life. Wow. Never has been online. Wow. So it was like I came from Iran. I got married at age 23. So, so you like, opened the shell. I know. Now I'm, I'm powerful. Get out of years, my way. <laughs> and I found my current boyfriend in a week online. No like, way! Look at it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that no is wow. transformation. And I love it. transformation I love it. happened in 2017. Same retreat with Raymond Aaron. And I got into my coaching. A group of coaches, they kind of, I was talking, say, I how, long, how long you want to talk about coaching? Get into action, coach us. I said, <laughs> am I going to coach? Am I a coach? And I started coaching them. And they were like, you are awesome. You should start this. And after I came back, I had my first workshop in the world. Wow. Morning. That's a transformation. It's not it just is. about information in your brain. You know what I it mean? It is. It's not about knowledge. It's about actions. Action and the, what energy. The energy. The that energy, you definitely. Change of energy. You know what? That's I, what it is. I said to a friend, okay, you have the opportunity to open up yourself. Yes. But you are in so much deep into the same field. Yes. You know, in the same environment, yes. in the same people that you will never see outside the box because yes. this is who you are here. And same people mm -hmm. create the same results. Same yes. environment create the 100%, same hundred percent. You have to change it. That's what it is. Right? And let me say something because I quiero, quiero volver en español. Tengo que hablar en español, yes. okay? Tú me entiendes un poquito, un poquito. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm listening. <laughs> okay, mis amigos en español se han perdido mucho porque de verdad que esta conversación está... Que arde. Bueno, eh, Mandana habla y dice que ella eh, está haciendo un, un retreat, un, um, unas vacaciones al estilo de getaway. O sea, quítate, vente conmigo, yo te voy a dar mentoría, 
te voy a mostrar realmente cómo puedes empoderar tu vida, sacarla, limpiarla y vamos adelante porque hay herramientas específicas en las que tu mente tiene que ser transformada, que es muy importante. Si la mente no se transforma, el corazón que tienes, que es maravilloso, pierde valor, pierde. Eso tienen que entenderlo. Entonces es muy importante que tú que estás escuchando en español, sepas que Mandana es, es una persona que entrena y da mentoría a todas las personas que quieran cambiar su estilo, bueno, no de vida, pero sí el estilo en, en la forma en que piensan y transformar esos pensamientos para algo positivo y de mayor alcance, donde tú puedas realmente de empoderarte, sacar, votar y decir, ¿sabes qué? Hoy es el día de mi cambio. Y hay una cosa importante que estamos hablando, que es eh, la conferencia que se viene ser jefe. Ser jefe es la conferencia que se está dando en noviembre 9 y 10 aquí en Toronto, Canadá, con Héctor eh, Rodríguez Curbelo, quien es un entrenador a nivel mundial global número uno en las redes con su entrenamiento digital corporativo totalmente en español, con más de 190 mil suscriptores y el cual tú puedes empoderarte esos dos días con conferencia en la cual vas a aprender todo a nivel de negocio las estrategias digitales, crecimiento personal y, por supuesto, motivacional. Y número uno, que vas a estar dentro de un mercado donde todos queremos ganar. Y eso es donde tú puedes encontrar esa oportunidad de afianzarte con alguien más que te va a llevar a otro nivel porque estás buscando con una idea crear un mundo millonario, el cual Héctor Rodríguez Curbelo es millonario y ha creado. Entonces te invito a que sigas, voy a dejar información aquí en la página para que sepas y por supuesto que nos sigas viendo todos los días aquí con Dos en Línea TV eh, porque siempre que esté el programa, cualquiera que se dé, se va a estar dando el video de Cell Jefe Tour 2019. So I have, I have to mention here a few mm -hmm. people because I have Selina Tio Ferreira. She says, hello Rosemary, thank you for bringing Mandana a Tazardén. Oh, to your show. Thank you, Selena. Yes. <laughs> She's amazing. Love you, Mandana, and wish you much success. Thank you, Selena. She's such a beautiful soul. Wow. And I, I imagine because uh, the type of uh, message you live in here, I mean, this is people who care, who care about your work, about what you do, who you are, and make sure that is well known and is reputable. You see what I mean? Yes. Uh, and uh, it has to be It has, it's something that I have to mention that I, I do have a circle of authors, writers, and do you know I'm launching a book as a co-author? Yes. something. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. 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 My yes. dear, thank you. I forgot completely to mention, but it's important because we have the audience who's listening. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emilio Roman is uh, the author, uh, the, uh, not the author, the book owner, mm -hmm. okay, of uh, is, is a spiritual fitness survivor. Beautiful. Name. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. And uh, we have 20 seats all in combination of co-authors. Wow. Giving their survivor experience. Wow. Isn't that great? That's beautiful. It so is. So much wisdom in that. So much energy. Yes. I have my friend Mariana Santos who said, uh, yes, I'm here. She's here. Yes. Thank you, Mariana. Mariana is such a blessing person in my life. I mm -hmm. should say that um, the power of collaboration is this. And this is why you're here, to let know people, you know, get in touch with Mandana and get to know Mandana more in a deep level, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's not all about money. I think, I think the first thing that you want to do with any person who contacts you is to know who they are, yes. right? Exactly. And this is why um, when I brought my friend Mariana Santos to the co-author book, um, Spiritual Fitness Survivor, I said to her, Mariana, you should come. You know, you have a story. Yes. And she says, me? Author? I said, yes, you're a book already. Yes. You know, yes. every person who every has, person a story, has a story, which I'm sure that yes. any yes. person in this human world has a story, yes. an powerful yes. story with the challenges with the peaks yes. and the falls. Yes. And we should know and let know people about it. Why? It's not about being a chain or hidden or uh, reprimanded. It's about letting them know that if we pass through this, 
I'm sure there's many other people or even one person mm -hmm. that will be in the same pattern and they can broke those chains to really make sure their life change yes. as we have accomplished that. Yes. You know, so, um, and that's, I think what's really in detail why you're here because flourishing woman has won an award. Tell us about that. You, yes. you, you, you have that queen racing. Tell yes. us about it that I mentioned. Yes. Please. Um, you know, when I started my group, I started my group in 2019, January, 2019, I actually kind of broadcast the idea in 2018, but the actual session started in 2019 and they meet monthly. And after a few months, two, three months, I received an announcement from beautiful Tracy Arcadia. I don't know if you know Tracy. Oh my she, gosh. She's a beautiful oh, wow. soul. Wow. She's just, Unstoppable she's, Tracy? Uh, no, this is a different Ah, person. okay, okay. Tracy Arcadia, she has a magazine called Soulful Image Oh, yes. Magazine. I know who you're talking about. She's okay. a woman of faith. She's a woman of belief. She is such a beautiful soul and she does such a great job with her husband. So they, they run this award every year and she, wow. she contacted me and said, you have been chosen as a nominee. And then later on, I didn't even know, like they nominated me and people voted for me. And she said, you have been as an award winner for the 10 inspiration of women wow. in Toronto and Queens rising together because I support women in group to all lift up each other together. That's and, and that's something really needed. And that's part of the work and it's shown, it's proof, it's proof. And that's why you got awarded. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say that we have to go into commercials. You will see the video about Cell Jefe Tour. Please join that video because I know for fact, whoever is watching this program will be coming to the conference Cell Jefe. Go ahead, please. Hi, my name is Vicky Chapari. I'm a realtor. I have the chance to meet families every day and help them. Uh, for me, it's really important to know my client and know the expectation and the needs. And building a relationship, a friendship. Uh, buying, selling, or even renting is one of the most important financial decisions and even emotional. So it's so important to know each other and to trust each other. And we start working together. And to my That's client, I have a wonderful group of professionals that I work with as a lawyer, mortgage broker, home staging painters, and I love to provide that information to my clients as well. Hola, soy Nico, tengo cinco años. Soy astronauta, caminante y a la vez viajero. Me encanta viajar, pero esta vez mi nave se ha descompuesto. Hemos descubierto que la única forma de volver a la Tierra es recolectando pequeñas gotas de gelatina, aunque acá ellos las llaman células. Necesito millones para poder llegar a la tierra. Hola, yo soy Tedora A. Dr. Stacy. I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper. I'm the author of Heal Your Health, and I have a special offer for you. I also utilize the Quantum Biofeedback Resonance Scan, which is a non-invasive tool to see how your body's functioning on the inside before signs and symptoms show up. To receive $50 off the scan, simply mention Rosemary Sanchez and the program El Blando and Tere Mojeres, Talking Between Women, and this way you will receive $50 off. So, gracias a mis amigos por continuar en línea y por supuesto seguir escuchando a Mandana. Mandana tiene una historia que yo realmente quiero escuchar. Y necesitamos hablarla en inglés para que tú sepas, porque lamentablemente no habla otro idioma que el inglés. Entonces, bueno, iraní también, pero el inglés es el idioma oficial en Canadá. So, por supuesto, démosle a ella la oportunidad que siga hablando. Voy a tratar de, de traducir lo que más pueda. Ya estamos pronto a terminar, pero hay algo importante que yo quiero que ustedes sepan. So, um, and then, um, after this amazing award that you got, there's another one. Yes. Okay, tell me about it, please. Wow, that one <laughs> is interesting. That one came actually about a month ago, in August. Okay. And I didn't know this amazing person, James McNeil, your friend. Yes. He put together this event called this two days event, uh, I lead. It's, a, it's a, like a biannual conference, I think. Yes. And the theme for this time was uh, feminine leadership. Yes. And then he put 
this award he opened and and the, the floor for a nomination which i wasn't aware of yes. and you know who messaged me first yes who? my ex-husband i can't believe, believe it. It. He, said, can I, he, he was asking my can i can i nominate you he was kind of careful cautious said, of course you can nominate me and i didn't know about so he brought it wow. to my attention he nominated me first wow and then i saw so many women from my group people that yes. moved, so a lot of people nominated me I think I've seen that. 700, 800 comments on yes. that post. And yes. they picked a couple of nominees to actually yes. be featured. And yes. then I got the actual award. So I was so honored. Ah. And Susan B. Anthony, she's an activist. She's an activist. Yes. She she fought for women's rights. She was wow. one of the activists for women's suffrage movement back in uh, 1800. Wow. And then she also was anti-slavery movement. So wow. me coming from a social justice background, receiving that award meant a lot to me. I'm so excited. Wow. So I'm very wow. honored. And yes. thanks to everyone who nominated yes. me. Yes, and, and I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you. Um, James sent me a message when I was in Dominican mm -hmm. Republic and said, my friend, you've been nominated also. Of course, yeah, I'm uh, not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you shall be here to receive it. So yes. I was in Dominican Republic by the time the conference was uh, done. And I said, I'm so sorry, I can't. But you mentioned something that they, they mentioned my name there, right? I think they did. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So, yeah, I got the nomination, uh, the prize. I have to see you, James. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pictures of all of you receiving it. I'm like, okay, I got it out. But yeah, eventually, you know, this, this is what's life, right? Yeah. It's it's really making sure others are none. It is. You know, and the award is really, I don't look at it as something that I'm bragging about. It's really for a way to inspire other for women. For sure. That your work is not unrecognized. Yes. You step out of your comfort zone, do what you want to do, and you will be recognized. Yes. Without even you knowing what's happening. Yes. Already. That's that's what it is. That's yes. the meaning of award. I, I, I'm, I'm 100% agreeing with you. Uh, tengo que decirles a ustedes, Mandana recibió un reward, un... Pro, un un premio en una conferencia que se llamó I Lead, que la hizo Jake McNeil, mi mentor, mi amigo. Y eh, él puso no, eh, en el Facebook para que la gente nominara a esas personas que han sido líderes de activismo social, eh, líderes en la comunidad, que han hecho la diferencia, han marcado realmente a otra persona. Y hubieron varias personas nominadas, entre esa mandana, quien recibió el premio por eh, Susan... Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, uh, Susan B. Anthony, quien era una activista mm -hmm. de lo que era el esclavismo en el mil, mil, uh, 1800, what year? Uh, 1800. 1800s. In, in 18, yeah. he, he passed away in 1906. Oh, ok. Like ok, so back in the, uh, mucho antes en los 1800. Entonces, mm -hmm. ella lo ganó. Y yo estoy tan contenta porque yo estaba nominada también. Y claro, no lo pude recibir por República Dominicana, mi viaje en el cual yo estaba, pero fui nominada y estoy esperando por ti, James, que me des ese reconocimiento, si es que lo gané. Entonces, eh, I'm so happy and thrilled for uh, Mandana because um, I have something to ask, mm -hmm. which is serious. I think we have gone through here and there, but tell me in, the, in a specific the word flourishing woman yes let me get to the core of it please to me flourishing is this every every human specifically every woman is born with a dream and dream is not about having a husband children is about you and what's your purpose in life and we have we have a responsibility to nourish to carry those dreams in our lifetime and to deliver it to this world like dream, like having a baby how we carry a baby for nine months and then we have to go through the delivery and bring that, it's that a purpose. beautiful baby. It's a purpose. So that's our baby. It's, it's our spiritual, it's our soul baby. It's as important of any children and baby that we have. So we have to bring that dream to life. If we don't do that, we have not accomplished our mission. And to me, when you, the moment you put, you put your foot in the path of giving birth to that dream that's the moment you start flourishing that's the the meaning of the flourishing woman so when you start to get into the journey of flourishing you every woman is beautiful but you connect with your inner beauty you radiate that beauty that beauty has nothing to do with your physical appearance it's about energy. no it's about the, it's about the soul that is exactly. you know your soul that shines your stigma 
doesn't matter what age yeah. you are doesn't matter how your face look like what doesn't matter what size you are that that beauty shines out from the inside of your soul you become strong you become powerful you become someone that people look up to you become nurturing every feminine and in balance masculine quality in you flourishes and you become this balanced beautiful human person i i don't think there's any other way that to express it and describe it the way you did it Thank that's you. why the title Thank of the you. book that's why the book i'm sure it will be so successful that people will know about it but i want you to please let know the audience how to reach you um your mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. uh, your uh, website how they can reach you so they can be part of who you are your training mm -hmm. And your retreat. Yes. <laughs> Find me on Facebook. My my Facebook page is called Facebook.me slash the flourishing woman. Facebook.me slash the flourishing woman. Go like the page, you will automatically receive updates from me about everything. Oh that amazing. I do. That's one way. You can also reach me on my personal Facebook. I would be honored to have yeah. you as friend, Mondana at Tarzade. That's yes. my name. We're gonna and leave everything here in the comments, but yes, meantime you're listening. Yes. yes. And my website is the www dot the flourishing women w o m e n the flourishing women dot com. So you can also reach me there and ask any question. Look at my program, my mentoring, my flourishing women circuit. Everything that I have, you can find it there. So please connect with me. Amazing, and I think that's my best happiness. Thank you. That I bring. Um, someone as you as an author as an entrepreneur as a human being that's gone through many challenges and if one person get to know you because of this program i'm settled thank you i i feel the same way if we can move one life we have done our responsibility in the world a hundred percent exactly how i look at it a hundred percent and i want you to please um, I have to make an announcement because it's really important. I want you to please to go to www.seeljefe.net slash tour Canada. So, seljefe.net slash tour Canada. Y es muy importante porque estas personas como Mandana van a ser parte de esta conferencia. Van a estar ahí como público, van a estar ahí como host. Van a estar ahí conociéndote. So, vas a estar en medio de celebridades. Porque, let me tell you, you're a celebrity. You know oh, that? Wow, thank you. I didn't know. <laughs> yes, you thank are. You. <laughs> yes, you are. So, uh, I'm just saying that people who is our audience today that have listened to the program, that share the connection to please go to Cell Jefe Conference. That yes. uh, you'll be there. Many other mm -hmm. authors and co-authors will be there. People who are really empowered in the field of networking mm -hmm. already and uh, are doing difference in the community. Mm -hmm. So um, they will be able to be with celebrities like yeah. we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, eh, ser jefe, como les digo, búsquenlo. Voy a estar poniendo información. Te esperamos. Yo estoy segura que tú has visto los videos aquí con 12 Niña TV. Y por supuesto, es un honor, un honor que siempre estés parte de nuestro programa Hablando Entre Mujeres, compártelo. Y por favor, búscame en las redes sociales como Breakthrough Rose, en Facebook, en Instagram, Rosemary Sánchez como artista, en Facebook page, fan page, y también Rosemary Sánchez como mi Facebook personal. Estaré para responderte cualquier pregunta. Thank you so much, Mendana, for being here. It's such a blessing. Thank you, and uh, let's cheer up because this won't be yes. the last time. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so goodbye, my friends. Gracias. Bye. Diga, gracias. Gracias. Hey. <laughs>